So I'm going to start with the species of wireworms. Uh, we started to care about the species of wireworms about uh, three years ago when we saw different results in our insecticide trials that we were conducting at two different locations which had, to which had totally different wireworm species. Uh, so first of all, we wanted to determine which species we have in this region. So part of my research in 2013 and 2014 is to cover uh, 80 different fields throughout 20 counties in Washington, uh, Idaho and Oregon State. Uh, and uh, what we saw in the final results that we will have 14 different species out of which uh, three main different species are Limonius infuscatus, which numbers are 41%, 28% 41%, 41%, uh, of Limonius californica species and 21% of Tenisera prunina species. Also we wanted to see how they, uh, they are affected by the environment in which they are. Uh, so as you, uh, uh, the major factor that drives them, that what we think so far is the soil moisture. So as we start from closer to the mountains here in this area where there is less average per precipitation per year, we will have Tenisera prunina. While we move more closely to Palouse region, we will have more Californicus, Limonius californicus and Limonius infuscatus species. Also what I'm doing, I'm doing a biology of the two major species in this area here, uh, which are Limonius infuscatus and Limonius californicus. Uh, I'm putting traps in each month in 10 different fields which had different wireworm populations with, and different species. And so uh, as you can see they can start with the same numbers or similar numbers in the beginning, but they are different species and uh, at the end of the, as the end of the season goes, uh, then uh, Limonius infuscatus, which is this black line, will go down while Limonius californicus will stay in high numbers or will be, will be present throughout the whole year in your field. Uh, also what suggests that there are different species after all are uh, some experiments that I am conducting uh, this year and that I conducted last year where I had them in a caged environment, uh, smaller plot experiments with buckets where uh, wheat was uh, planted and after two weeks wireworms were introduced. As you can see, this is a no wireworm treatment and compared to both wireworm treatments, you can see that there is uh, the damage that they cause. But then you can see that there is a big difference between the species you have in your field. And uh, if you have Lim Limonius infuscatus, it's not going to be a significant in those numbers compared to Limonius californicus, in which, in which case if you have smaller numbers, they will cause much more damage. So Limonius californicus will, pro, uh, will cause a lot more damage in the same numbers as Limonius infuscatus.